All right, I'm going to test a reduction. We're going to do it on easy mode because I don't really care. And I'm not going for challenge, I'm going for looking for bugs. And I'm going to do a running commentary about anything that I think might need to be changed so we can look at this video later and figure it out. So, let's just get me selected. What do you need? And okay, right away, this uh, objective image should not have text in it, and the details should have different text than the name of the objective. This room is very cramped. Is it gonna start? Yeah. So, one thing I'm thinking for this. Uh, oh, that was weird. We definitely want to change so it's not William speaking because we're not gonna get Williams' voice actor to do this. I don't even know who that is. Uh, we do want to change the dialogue so that uh, there's less swearing in it because it uses a lot of swearing for not really any benefit and also we need to change it so that the marines aren't talking because we can't record voice lines for the marines uh, that would just spiral out into infinite voice lines if we ever decide to add more marines to the game uh, this ceiling right here should probably be Funk ASW Fade. I don't know if it is, but it probably isn't, judging by how it looks. Uh, this button needs to have its panel prop set. And again, this room is way too small and cramped. Uh, let's see. Like, that, that would be dangerous. Uh, we probably want to look into changing how the airlocks work. Because right now they aren't great looking. And another thing I was thinking, we should have some kind of uh, light up strip on the floor, like in Portal when they show you what button is attached to what testing element. And we could use that to direct players in which direction they should be going because it's kind of confusing the first time you play this mission every direction looks pretty much the same uh, this light we should change so that it's less uh, sharp I guess because this this is gonna give people headaches even though you don't stay in this room very long uh, this computer is currently just a static prop it would be nice to put some kind of either news article or email on here. Uh, honestly, I think that light would be maybe just better as a normal projected texture with no movement. Because right now, like, these crates don't get changed very much. These crates don't change. These kind of do. But, like, this area does not look good. Uh, it's also very quiet. Like, if I stow my chainsaw, there's not a lot of sound coming from here. Even though we've got the Bloodhound flying around, I know it's in space, but still. And we've got all these docked, like, autonomous ships that are flying around doing whatever, and there's aliens moving around inside as well. Uh, that door feels weird. I think we need to put, like, a black thing on top so that you can't see through all the way. Same on this side. So we've got the welder. You pick up the welder. The game instructor would tell you to unweld the door if you needed to learn that. 
and then they say what's with all the welded doors now there's a problem with that and that is that we've only encountered one welded door so I think what we should do is add another welded door here and have you pick up the welder earlier then you get into here uh, this is actually a cool effect I don't know how they do this whether that's a projected texture or animated texture or something I don't know uh, this door doesn't open I feel like it did in the past but it might not have ever opened would be nice to have this door if not open then just, just be open by default so you can walk into the bathroom even though there's nothing in there uh, this panel's not really giving any indication that you need to hack it other than the fact that it exists uh, I'd like to see the area be slightly larger for it and like once we get the light strip on the floor that might be a moot point it's not clear what you're hacking here and it's also not clear why the aliens attack at this moment should probably have some kind of loud thing happen that draws them in uh, then we're going this way we've got a projected texture here this one looks better than the flashy one because it's got a smooth motion uh, that drone's attacking that door there's a drone here attacking this door might be good to have more than one drone spawn in each hallway I don't know they seem really having a hard time breaking those doors down I don't know if that's got more health than usual that just uh, those solar panels just kind of appeared when I walk close yeah so we need to fix the vis radius or add those to the skybox and remove them from the play space I think that would actually be better so we get through here now we've got like police lights fl flashing over here and the drones get stuck so we need to fix that the drones should not be getting stuck there this door uh, is a prop. It should probably be a door that's just marked as invulnerable instead. Uh, the drones, I don't know if we can animate them better. I don't know if it's just the one getting stuck that's confusing me. Uh, this door should probably be a prop because it shouldn't have a health bar behind this other stuff. And then we go this way. And I, I've just kind of been ignoring the dialogue, but, like, there should not be this much swearing. It's not good on the ears. And also, surely these people would know that there are aliens by now, if they're coming back from a mission. I'm gonna unweld this door. Uh, it's very dark. I think we could add light to the area to make it more visible without detracting from the atmosphere. There's a lot of this exact prop used for one-way paths. I think it would be nice to either have fewer one-way paths or more variety of props. This room looks cool. I can't tell if there's any audio from it, even though it's lit up. Uh, this... That should not be. We need to fix those arrows so they're not Z-ignoring. I don't know why that's classified as a door. That's a little weird. There's a 
weird inconsistency between which doors are welded and which doors are not weldable. I think that we should make the doors that drones are attacking welded in all cases. And adjust the number of drones behind them and stuff like that to handle the increased health from the welding. Uh, I don't know if the bots are configured properly for this. I can't tell, honestly. Maybe these are the doors I was thinking about with that bathroom. Yeah, these open. I'm gonna pick up a flamethrower here. Uh, the flamethrower has full ammo, but I don't think that's a full clip. Yeah, that that's not a full yes, flame or cartridge on the first part, so I'll probably change that. Okay, here's a computer. This computer activates a turret, okay. That's some weird animation that just happened on the turret, I don't know what happened there. Uh, we might want to put some explosive barrels in this room so you can start some of the biomass on fire. Also, that drone being stuck back there doesn't look great. Uh, here we go. So I need to unweld this door. Now, the moment this door opens, it should probably become visible inside. You shouldn't have to walk in before. Come on, egg. There we go. So, earlier when I was testing this, some of the biomass Faith was not reacting to as a bot and not setting on fire. I don't know why. Uh, we should probably make it so bots know how to use the secondary fire on the flamer for teammates. Weird, now Faith is using the flame room more. Can Faith do these? Nope. Okay, so these can't. Uh, it's weird that there's no objective. Should probably have a lot more objectives in this mission. Not just for filling up space, but also because that'll help if people fail the mission, they get partial credit. And they can tell how far they got. Some of these biomasses should probably be linked to each other. So you don't have to set every single one on fire individually. Also the end fires that you can start, those are bad. You should just remove the fires that you can start. If, it, if it's not fueled by the map, it should not be here. Got some iffy collision around these parasites. Oh, that's not even an objective. What am I thinking? Like, there's no point in that room. It should be an objective. I think that control sign is also going to have the same problem as the other one. Yeah, so the arrows on that control sign are also Z-ignoring. We've got so many one-ways. I feel like a better way to do it would be to let people go back. And if, if there's a problem with them being able to go back, then make it one way. There's a flashing light in this room, it's not clear why. Uh, there's blood on the floor going to the vent which kind of implies they dragged somebody in there, but there's no dialogue? Again, it's not clear where you're supposed to go at this point. There's arrows pointing to the control room, but this room exists and there's just supplies in it. Maybe we need a supply chatter marker? 
All right, we got to the control room. So, what do we have in here? Got some kind of canisters that you can't interact with. Got that door. Got this door, which is also closed and not welded. It's not weldable. These would feel a lot better if you could unweld them, even if there's just garbage on the other side. Uh, let's see. This, these stools should probably not have collision because they just block your path, even though they're not useful for anything. Uh, let's see. Hack through this. That should probably have been a computer hack. Door due east. We're in space! Make, make a different word for the door direction. We're in space, there's no east. Alright, and then we get to the escape pod room. That's weird. I've never seen that do that before. I don't know if that's intentional, but it's weird and we probably don't want it. We could probably do a better job with a different image that has static on it or something, if that's what it was intended to be. Okay. We have an explosion. Here comes the pod, I guess. We could probably do with an actual model for this, as opposed to the hammer thing that we have. I'm sure one of the people in our community could make that model good wouldn't even have to change all that much, just be a little cleaner of a design. We could use the the hold E to activate button on this, and then we could have it so it opens slightly and gets stuck, and then you have to walk over and open it more. That would probably feel better than a few seconds of delay with nothing happening. Come on, Wildcat. Wildcat. There we go. So it closes. I don't know if that drone's making it stuck. That's weird. Can... What is, but is, is there something supposed to be happening right now? Because th this is just time with no gameplay. And there's nothing happening in the slow motion. Is it going to drop? I don't know what's going on. Whoa, I can melee through it? I can see myself, that's weird. Oh, there was a scripted sequence that was supposed to happen here and I don't think it did. I don't know what's going on. Well, that's a bug. I'm gonna let it keep going, see what happens. Let's see if there's a path I'm supposed to walk in. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Well, that's mission one. <laughs> that's a little broken. Uh, I will cut the recording here and start a new recording for mission two.